And good afternoon. We're seeing some new video this noon. Dozens of cats found living in just deplorable conditions. They were discovered at a Deerfield Beach mobile home. Local 10 News Porter Trent Kelly joins us live from Animal Services Adoption Center near Dania Beach. And he tells us about those conditions. How are those cats doing? And what are we learning about the owner as well, Trent? Yeah, Christy, in all, we are talking about more than 70 cats that, according to deputies, were found living in filthy conditions inside that mobile home in Deerfield Beach. As a result, their former owner now facing criminal charges. In fact, we learned today that one of those cats had to be euthanized due to a combination of old age and respiratory issues. The rest of those cats, officials hope, will soon be put up for adoption. So from the one property, we found 71 cats. More than 70 cats found living in deplorable conditions inside a Deerfield Beach mobile home. Their former owner, according to deputies, now facing criminal charges. I think it would be really hard for anybody to care for 71 animals of any type. You kind of need some help. <laughs> Cameras getting our first glimpse at some of the rescued cats now being housed at Broward's Animal Adoption Center near Dania Beach. Officials say the vast majority of the cats that were seized from that home were suffering from respiratory issues. While one did have to be euthanized, they're hoping to put the others up for adoption once they finish their treatments. Investigators say the cat's alleged owner, Nicole Dupra, is now facing animal deprivation charges. Deputies showing up to her home on Friday where they found dozens of cats malnourished and living in filth. One deputy clearly disturbed by what he saw. The case first reported to BSO by neighbors and members of an online catch and release group who described conditions inside the home. They look really bad. We put down food. They all started scrambling for food, clearly starving. Most of them were really skinny, sick, caked up feces everywhere, urine everywhere. A friend of Dupra now defending her, saying things quickly spiraled after Dupra became sick, leaving her unable to take care of the animals she took in. Nicole has been doing a lot of service for the animals the last 15 years, but unfortunately her health has failed and her kidney that was a transplant from 2006 just doesn't work anymore. And we're told by members of that online group that the friend of Dupra, who you just heard from there, was also being investigated for animal hoarding allegations. So far, though, deputies have not announced any charges against her. Again, Dupra now facing animal deprivation charges, but so far she has yet to be booked into jail. We'll keep you posted moving forward. For now, though, that is the latest live near Dania Beach this afternoon. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.